Hi, I'm Carol Graham with Praying for Miracles with Carol. Today we're going to talk about a subject that I know many of you have stories about, and that is guardian angels. Have you ever had a time when you knew that your guardian angel protected you? Are you even aware that you have a guardian angel? Or what his job is? Well, today that's what we're going to talk about. And I look forward to sharing these stories with you. been in a situation where you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that there had to have been an angel to protect you, especially when it comes to car accidents. It seems like so often uh, we recognize how close the call was and yet God protected us and that accident didn't happen. Psalm 91 tells us that he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Psalm 91 is full of so many um, instances of, of impending danger that God protects us from. Even the plague that the word says will not come nigh our dwelling. We need to take these promises, these scriptures, apply them to our lives, get them deep into our heart, and and know that God and believe in your heart that God will and does protect you. The first story I'm going to share today is about a time when I was driving down a country road. There was no houses, there was no other cars in sight. It was a beautiful sunny day and there was no impending danger as far as rain on the road or anything like that. And we had just uh, gotten a new uh, Ford pickup truck. And we were excited about it because we had been driving clunkers. And so this was really a step up for us. And if I felt safe for the first time in a long time in driving down the road. And then without any warning, none whatsoever. And uh, again, there's only a, a couple thousand miles on this vehicle. So it wasn't that there was, you know, a problem that we um, should have had. All of a sudden, without warning... My steering locked. There was it was absolutely solid. There was no turning it. I tried to stop, but going the speed I was going, it was very evident that I was going to crash, and I did. And what happened was it it flipped over into a ditch, and then flipped a couple mm -hmm. times, and I was knocked unconscious. I was thrown from the vehicle, and when I woke up. I was laying in the ditch. I was covered in mud. Um, of course, I was probably trembling. <laughs> and then the strangest thing happened. Because I looked around, there was no traffic. No one saw what happened. There were no houses in the area. There was nobody walking on the road or anything else. But when I looked up and I opened my eyes, two angels were standing over me, and they were smiling. They didn't say anything, and I didn't know what in the world was going on or why they were there. You know, you're just coming to from, from this horrendous shock. And I wanted to start asking questions. Who are you? Where are you? And all they did was they smiled at me, and they waved, and they disappeared. And immediately, this overwhelming peace came over me. And I knew that I knew that I knew, just as you can know with absolute assurance, that God is there to protect you. That he sends his angels to protect you. And even though I did have an accident, I basically was unharmed, other than a few bruises and, and maybe some scratches. And then we found out later, of course, that this was a glitch in this particular model that year, and sadly, uh, the steering did lock on occasion. But God knew that, and God also knew 
that he would send and did send his angels to protect me. And I just right there, as I sat in that ditch, began to thank God that he is in control of my life. He sent the angels. I will never forget what they looked like. It was absolutely amazing. Psalms 46.10 says that God is our refuge and our strength. He is a very present help in times of trouble. He is a very present help in times of trouble. And so when you are praying, thank him for that. Thank him that he knows every situation that not only you are in now, but that you may encounter. And that he will send his angels to protect you. That he will help you in whatever way that you need to be protected. And you know, someday, I believe, when we are in heaven, we will be reminded of many times that God protected us, that God preserved us, that God sent his angels. Another time is also on the highway. This story that I'm going to share happened on a different road. It was a windy mountain coastal highway that I live on now. And we have a logging industry here, and very often the big logging trucks that come around some of those curves and, and up those hills are really quite scary. And so whenever you come and are approaching a curve, you will um, automatically maybe be sure that you have both hands on the wheel, you tighten it a little bit, and you're very observant to what may be approaching you around that curve. Well, this, that's what happened on this day. And as I was approaching the curve, I saw that there was a big logging truck with a full load that was approaching me. And just as he got within, well, very close, his two front tires at the same time let loose. And they were coming at me with horrendous speed. They, they were bigger than my vehicle was, taller than my vehicle was. And the speed that they were coming from, all I had time to do and say was, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I knew that I was going to be protected, even though these things were, they're like steamrollers, you know, coming at me. And I could hear the sound of those tires and what happened is as soon as I said, thank you, Jesus, those tires literally went like this. They separated. And instead of coming at my vehicle, they separated and they went down both sides of my vehicle. And I could hear the sound of those tires rushing. We were on a slight hill and those things were coming at me at horrendous speed. The sound was deafening, and I thanked God for that protection in that moment because I knew that I was protected. I didn't know how God was going to do it, but I knew that he would. Just a matter of seconds. Well, as soon as it happened, I slowed down and I stopped, as did the logging truck. And he got out of his logging rig and he came running towards me and asked me if I was okay. And I told him I was. And this is what he said. Did you see that? I wrote it down because I didn't want to forget it. Did you see that? I couldn't believe it. I ain't seen nothing like it in all my years as a trucker. And his voice was trembling. And he said, I've seen some bad accidents when a semi loses a tire. And I've lost two. And they were headed right at you. Did you see that? He's just like he couldn't believe it. He says, lady, you got angels around you or what? And I burst into laughter and I said, yes. As a matter of fact, I do. And he just walked away and he was shaking his head and he said, ain't seen nothing like it. Ain't seen nothing like it. And I just, on the side of the road, just lifted my hands in praise and thanked God once again for his protection.
Because just like any promise in God's word, if we choose to believe them, they are ours. If we choose to believe them, get them into our heart, repeat them, we and say them out loud, let that build faith within us that if we are ever in that kind of situation, that God will protect us that he will send his angels to protect us, that his angels are around us, and they will not allow anything to harm us. Also understand that God knows in advance of what is going to happen. He knows that his angels will be there to protect you. And he appreciates your prayers of thanksgiving, not begging and pleading every time you go into your car, oh God, please protect me. No. But instead, God, I thank you that today and every day you protect me, that your angels surround me, that you will keep me, that you know every step I take, that my steps are ordered by you. You will preserve, you will protect me. And for that, I thank you. Matthew 6, 7 to 8 says, For your Father knows those things that you need before you ask. You see, these situations weren't a surprise to God. He already knew them. And so when we approach him with a thankful heart, knowing that God will protect us, it makes all the difference. He's already promised it. We don't have to beg for it or ask for it. But instead, we thank him for that protection. Thank you. thank you for listening today. Please don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, to subscribe to this channel. And also send me your, uh, send me your comments, send me your questions. I love to communicate with you, and I thank you. Mm -hmm.